Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight it is Tony's pick of the month. What are we watching? I think it's called About Time. Mm -hmm. And I think, if I recall correctly, it's kind of like the um, Groundhog Day movie. It kind of looked like that from the trailer. Uh, like I've, things repeat over and over. Yeah, like he can go back in time or something like that. Oh, maybe I'm confusing it with something else. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember you can keep like going back to the same day and reliving the same day, so you can go back in time. Just yeah, just like Groundhog Day. <laughs> but I guess it. I guess he gets to pick where he goes back yeah. to instead of the yeah. same day going over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, so. I was I was close. I've been paying attention. Sort of. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about this. I mean, this is one of those that we were watching trailers just to see so you could come up with some good choices. And this this one made the list. Um, I, I've i seen the main character in it before in Ex Machina, uh, which is a movie I'd, I'd like to watch at some point on the channel. It was I, I thought that was a really smart script, a good, good movie. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get the impression from the trailer, though, that this is a rom-com it looked more a lot more dramatic like it, it seems like it's a, a drama and might actually be sad so i just have to confess we watch a lot david shows me a lot of trailers and then they all start running together and mm. i don't know so now i'm confused because i thought it was a a rom-com rom I, don't, I don't know it doesn't look like a rom-com to me it <sighs> I mean, it looked like it might be funny at parts, but it didn't look like from the trailer. Isn't like this, this the is one that the father look. tells the son he's got a gift? Yeah, and then the father tells the son that, like, I think the father's dying or something in one of the, one of the times he goes back or something. I try to block the bad things. <laughs> oh. You chose this, so <laughs> don't go... What are you doing to me? In the comments, <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear it. That, uh, what are you choosing for your wife? What kind of stuff are you putting her through? This is her choice. <laughs> they all merge together. and Okay. So do you not want to watch this one now? <laughs> now we've got to watch it because I was excited. And I just saw my name up on the thingamajig as assistant set decorator. Okay. Well, that's cool. So... All right, well, you ready to get started? Let's go. All right. If you guys enjoy this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of About Time. If you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to, we will put the link to our Patreon down in the description. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on the notification bell because <laughs> I am paying attention. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, on with the show. I'm a little concerned now. You chose this, though. <laughs> I didn't pick this one. Why do you show me sad movies? I showed you movies that people have suggested that I've seen the trailer for and thought, yeah. First, there was me. I love his Too accent. tall, too skinny, too orange. My mum was lovely, but not like other mums. Her fashion icon was the queen. Oh, uh, did you hear the Prince of Wales? Princess of Wales has cancer? Cancer? Yeah, I didn't hear much about it. It was Catherine. Katie, that is cool. Kit Kat, yeah. my sister. Kit In a household of sensible jackets <laughs> and haircuts, there was this nature thing. With her elfin <laughs> eyes, her purple t-shirts, and her eternally bare feet, she was then, and still is to me, about the most wonderful thing in the world. <laughs> By the time I was 21, we were still having tea on the beach every single day. Oh, traditions like this. Yeah. And every Friday evening. Oh, that's cool. Film. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? The dreaded New Year's Eve party. That's a big party. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like her. <laughs> yeah, I do. He just dropped his drink on all of them oh no happy new year sorry ouch she's cute guess his heart just ain't in it and so i woke up the next morning hungover 
ashamed of myself. Uh, do sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I love the um, books. So you're saying that you and Grandad. Although it's not as dramatic as it sounds. It's only in my own life. I can only go to places where I actually was and can remember. I can't kill Hitler or... A quantum leap or something. <laughs> if it's true, uh, which it isn't. Although it is. Although it isn't, obviously. But if it was, which it's not. Which it is. Which it isn't. I want to speak like them. Then you clench your fists like this. Think of the moment you're going to and you'll find yourself there. Wow. Is as good a reaction as any. Why would I lie to someone I'm fairly fond of? <laughs> oh, and Tim, try and do something interesting. So much trouble. Can he travel back into the time that he is in now? What do you mean? Like, if he goes back, uh -huh. will he be able to return to this time right now? Well, I don't think so, because he can only go backward. He can't go into the future, his dad said, so I'm guessing he can only go back. But then his family's never going to see him again? Yeah, he'll go back and they'll be back where he goes to. See, he's still with his family. He's just gone to, to a different time. Is apparently. he wearing different clothes? Yeah, he's wearing the stuff he was wearing at the New Year's Eve party. <laughs> <laughs> so he only traveled back in time a little period, I mean, few hours. Yeah, like, I'm assuming to like eight hours ago. <laughs> Is he gonna go? I don't know. Is he? Uh, maybe we're gonna find out he can go back. Back to the future. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. It does mum know? Not a whistle. Strange. What have you done with it? For me, it's books, books, books. I've read everything a man could wish to. It would be just great if it could help me get a girlfriend. Wow. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> For love. me, it was always gonna be about love. Her name was Charlotte, and she was staying for two whole months. Isn't that Barbie? Girl played Barbie? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Tim, so. will you do my back? Absolutely. <laughs> <gasps> oh! <laughs> 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 Is it Will you do my back? Sure. Just give us a sec. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. It's my area. It was a summer of suntan and torture. Look at that view. Charlotte just made both of us look like idiots. How the hell are you meant to concentrate in your game? How are you meant to live your life? This sort of shit going down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been really, really lovely having you all summer. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. It has. And you did nothing, dude. Go back in time. Relive the summer. Have you enjoyed having Charlotte here all summer, Tim? Yeah. There goes August. I've introduced him to most. Is that really the girl from Barbie? I think so. Looks like her. Where is he going? Come in. As it's your last night, can I ask you a question? It's not going to be about love, is it? What? Well, it's just that kick out warn me that if you were to ever mention it, I should be very firm with you and tell you you must treat me like your sister. Or have <laughs> I just made a total fool of myself? No, it was, it was the love thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame you left it to last night. Okay, the Final last night was a bad idea. Very bad idea. It feels like an ever so slightly insulting afterthought. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got it. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Does this house house have little closets everywhere? <laughs> Charlotte. Hi. 
I know you've probably suspected this, but over the last month, I've fallen completely in love with you. Obviously, this, this was going to happen because, because you're a goddess. Even if you didn't have the nice face, and even if you had absolutely no hair, I'd still adore you. Man, he's smooth. You've never said those words to me. <laughs> Why don't we see how the summer goes, and then you ask me again on my last night? Oh. <laughs> Try me on the last night. Lost. See what happens then, shall we? But you've just told me that... <laughs> That's absolutely perfect. Last night. Last night. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's messing with my thing. That is too funny. Big lesson number one. All the time travel in the world can't make someone love you. Bye! Ouch. Let's get that water. And the very next day, it was my turn to leave. Oh. <laughs> Don't call too often, your mother doesn't like to be disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> I caught the train to London in search of a future and a girlfriend. I was staying in St John's Wood near Abbey Road with a playwright friend of my dad's called Harry. It's always nice to have family connections when you're a new kid in town. What the fuck do you want? I'm James's son. Who? James Lake. What about him? He's just messing with him. Don't make a sound or I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I was actually having the first good idea I've had for a decade when you rang on the doorbell. But now it's gone. You little shit. <laughs> How's your dad? Yeah, I never really liked him, actually. Your mum still looked like Andy Warhol. <laughs> Try not to make too much noise, particularly when having sex. No chance of that. Oh, Christ, two losers in one house. <laughs> and work didn't help on that score either. Look at that, he cleans the up well. The world of law seems to be entirely full of men. Very pleased to meet you, a real thrill. Who knows, we might become my pals. So six lonely months went by, me lawyering every hour of the day and night, and him putting the finishing touches to his new play. No matter how many girls there were in the world, I always seemed to end up with Rory, until something miraculous happened. Uh, Carlo will show you to your table. Great. Thank you. <laughs> it's completely dark. Completely dark. Okay, gentlemen. I guess they can't I see. So. Up beside these two young ladies. No, no, sounds absolutely perfect. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Mary. I'm Tim. Oh, something just touched my elbow. That, that, okay, that wasn't me. If it wasn't you, who was it? Well, it wasn't me, because I touched something else. Yes, and you'll stop that right away. Thank you. I cannot believe that it's your birthday next Your friend well. Jay, he's what, quite what um, enthusiastic. I actually hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's strawberry mousse. Oh. Do, Do you want, want some? some? They've been there a long time. They have. Mm, there? Oh. oh my god, what was that? <laughs> my eye. <laughs> Ow. I've got quite a lot of uh, strawberry mousse in my eye now. Yeah. You, I'm not so one sorry. Oh, Thank you. It's a new sensation for me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll see you outside. Yeah, really yeah, 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 great. How are they supposed to get outside? Yeah. She sounded wonderful. Oh, shh. Joanna? Jay. Christ, you're a babe. Help me find a cab, and I might give you my number. Of course, yeah. Or I might not have a sign <laughs> yet, so... Uh, yeah, no, I have. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, oh, God, what's gonna walk to his door? She's not coming out. No? Oh. He oh, looks disappointed. I... Would it be very wrong if I asked you for your number? No. Just in case I ever, you know, had to call you about stuff. Mm. Okay. Wow, oh, he's smooth. <laughs> Mary! We have to go! I found a car with his dodgy friend and 
about to assault me. I hope I see you again. Mm. You will. Okay. Good night. Where is she going? Was her oh. friend? I thought she was going back into the restaurant for a second. Oh. I want to live forever. He's going to get mugged and the phone's going to get stolen or something. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It'll be like the Bureau Adjustment or whatever yeah, it was called. Adjustment. adjustment Bureau. Yeah. You may remember my play open tonight. How did it go? Well, it went well. Till the lead actor had the most massive dry in the history of theatre. As if he got his lines to the extent that no actor has ever forgotten their lines before. <laughs> It's a disaster. Wow. He's not in there. <laughs> I'm a friend of Harry's. How's it going with the lines? It might be worth, you know, having one last look at the lines before you go on. Fuck off out of here. Go on. Patronizing piece. Now, did he undo the stuff with the girl? He's got to go. And now, the defense. I have lived many weary years, but never do the prosecution have anything final to add. Oh no, he went to the wrong guy. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I can't help you. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Gentlemen, I regard today's proceedings with the utmost gravity. Let us be clear of one simple and salient thing. It is the life of a guilty man. But is he done fast enough to get to where he's supposed to go? Uh, she's not going to know who he is. Because oh, no. he has, she has she's a gone. Yeah. Fix everything, I guess. Two girls in earlier tonight. One of them the prettiest girl in the world. The other one like a sort of nice prostitute. Did you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid uh, they were walk-ins, and it appears they paid my cash. That's fine. It's brilliant. It's just the end of my life. Thanks so much. <laughs> just the end of my life. Oh. I'm sorry, dude. I have to let that. Dude, your play is gonna have to fail. <laughs> Well, he can just go back a little bit in time and get there a little bit earlier. Harry Chapman found guilty of genius. Mm. <laughs> I have to go out right now. Why? She loves Kate Moss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's just going to sit there all day. <laughs> Which food did he bring with him? <laughs> How many days has he been there? Yeah. Thanks for keeping me company, Kittle. Nothing better to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's her. Get up, fool. <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> what a great sister. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Did you not think this through? It's so good to see you. Um, uh, we've never met before. Oh no, f fuck. No, of course we haven't. No. Sorry, I, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Yeah. He sat there all these days and hadn't, didn't think this through? Uh, well, gee, thank you, and, uh, um... Listen, it was really nice to meet you. Okay, here's crazy stuff. Yeah, um, kind of. Okay. Bye, Mary. Bye. Man, you sat there all those days, you didn't come up with a plan? Take two. Say, His sister oh, knows? I yeah, I guess so. Oh, you sorry. gotta get this it's down, me again. dude. 
Oh no, he didn't go back in time. Tim is a total stranger. I, I just had a weird experience with Mary here of thinking she was someone else. But I just wondered if I could walk around with you. Because oh, my sister Kit Kat is about to leave. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm about to be quite lonely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sugar? No. Boyfriend? Yes. No. Do I look like I'd never get a boyfriend? No, that's the rudest thing I've ever heard. No. <laughs> is, is it quite a new boyfriend? Yes. There he is. Oh, Rupert. no, it's his friend. Oh, yes. Is it it's his friend? Hi, guys. No. Well, this is Tim, and Hi. we don't Hi. know him at all. <laughs> what happened? She met him last night. Well, it was, it was only a week ago. It's all been a bit of a whirlwind, isn't it, Pooch Face? <laughs> Pooch face? More details about this wonderful first meeting. Okay. June 17th. Yeah. And, and, and where, where was this terrible party? <laughs> Before 8.30, he crashes the party. This is better than the Adjustment Bureau. <laughs> Do I know you? Um. No, 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 I'm, I'm a friend of Mary's. She has another friend. <gasps> yeah, gosh, you amaze me, but a uh, hot dog? <laughs> yeah, it took me hours to make them myself. Thanks. Hot dog. <laughs> hours. Where is Mary? Would you go back in time to find me? Maybe I did. Your face tells me that you're finding this party to be a living hell. I just wondered if you might oh, I like her necklace. fight to eat with me instead. I, I'm sorry. Okay, obviously I should have thought this through more. Yeah, he doesn't think I had. Ten minutes is long enough for any party, I think. Especially that one. Rupert. Oh. Oh, God. What a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a reader at a publisher. No, but you read for a living. Yes, that's it. I read. I love her necklace. What is it? It's two birds on a little branch. Oh. But when you're doing normal reading, is it ruined because it's your job? You know, like prostitutes, I always worry that when they stop being prostitutes that they can't enjoy sex anymore. You always worry about no, that? No, no, I sometimes worry about oh. that. <laughs> I have oh, shoes God. like those. Yeah. I feel like I've got a dress like that too, except a different <laughs> pattern. Yeah. It's just such a long way to your car. Oh, yeah, well, my car's actually parked outside my house. I got a lift to the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can do it in those heels. He can do it in, in shoes. <laughs> worn those shoes in a long time they make such a cute couple her hair is all perfect <laughs> I'm gonna go into the bedroom and put on my new pajamas and then in a minute you can come in and take them off <laughs> that's a bit forward uh, yeah, this is going pretty good for him <laughs> one minute Oh. oh. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> oh, it opens from the front. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be better next time. <laughs> I, I thought it was pretty lovely. Right, no, it was really lovely. Hi. <laughs> Dangerous. Oh, you really know your bras. <laughs> well done. Some people make a real mess of it the first time. <sighs> Amateurs, could you give me one second? Sure. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Best night of my entire life. 
now I've got a suspicion I'm going to have the best sleep of my entire life. So once is enough for my perfect guy? I'm not sure that's entirely fair. I, saw, I thought he was going to have to like go back in time a lot more to get this relationship to, de to even start. I didn't think it would just happen this quickly. That's a sister. Yeah. Oh, I like her bag. I didn't notice. That's a nice sweater he's got. Okay, I have some bad news. My parents are in town. They're visiting and they're coming around. When? Now. Do, do, do they know I exist? Uh, yeah, I've mentioned something like you, but... <laughs> like you? They're quite conservative, so maybe not those pants. What's wrong with those pants? Too tight? <laughs> Skinny jeans or something? Okay, um, uh, are we having sex? Uh, it... yeah, but not oral. I wasn't going to mention oral. Okay. <laughs> but who's going to bring it up? Your dad? Tim, had any cunnilingus with my daughter recently? Well, you never know. <laughs> dad! <laughs> Mom. Hi, honey. This is Tim. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Well, should we uh, come back when you haven't got any company? Or? Oh, well, that would be uh, quite difficult because Tim actually uh, lives here. Yes. Yeah, but no oral sex, I promise you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a lawyer, is that right? Yep, yep, that's right. Can I talk? Do you ever answer any of your own questions? <laughs> Yes, uh, I, he does. <laughs> I got given two tickets for the National Theatre tomorrow. No, you take someone else. I really like bed and I really hate theatre. But what kind of sad act is going to be free on a Saturday night? Bravo! Oh, that's <laughs> too funny. Oh my God, it's Charlotte. The old woman? No, not the old woman. Yeah, that's a girl from Barbie. Charlotte! Oh, Oh my god, Tim! Wow, I, this is my girlfriend Tina. Tim. No, oh, that is so brilliant. Well, well, hello, Tina. Now I know she's got a girlfriend. Well, that's just a huge burden suddenly lifted off my mind. I, I can be a confident heterosexual all over again. Not that kind of girlfriend. Go find a dark place to <laughs> leave back. You think I'm gay? No, of course not. No. I was kidding. I'm just going to go and get my uh, boyfriend, who is a boy. <laughs> oh my god, Tim! Yeah. This, this is my girlfriend, Tina. Oh, hello, Tina. Although, you should be a little careful with that. Uh, there are still quite a lot of us old-fashioned types about who uh, interpret girlfriend as meaning gay. I am gay. <laughs> are you? Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. I love that stuff. I'm just going to... Yeah, I don't need to talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go say hello. No. Best let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> they are all the colors. Tim? Oh, Charlotte! Tim, to see you! What, what a surprise! <laughs> Never even occurred to me you existed outside of Cornwall. And um, we're about to go get dinner. Who's that behind the tree there? I don't know, but she was a bit weird. I told Tina to go have dinner on her own. Are you hungry? Oh, um, yeah. Oh no, dude, no. No. Don't. Oh no. I don't think she matters, but. The one behind the tree, but this is not good, dude. Oh. I'm starting to think we slightly wasted that summer holiday. Oh no. <laughs> I'm, um. <laughs> I'm just staying around the corner. Can you walk me home? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. Oh no, what are you doing, dude? Okay, here you are, see ya. <laughs> here we are. I hope. He went through all that trouble because the other girl was the love of his it's life. nicer inside. Oh no, no dude. No. Please don't. So no. lovely to see you, Charlotte. I, I've got to get back because it's something very important that I have to do right now. I think he realized how important she is to him. Even, even more so. Wake up. What? What's wrong with her? Would you like to marry? Shh, 
Don't be so selfish. I'm sleeping. I went very well. Wake up. Come and have a chat. Why? I've got something important to ask you. Can it wait till morning? Not really. Why is there music on? Romantic music. Guy with important question. Are you on your knees? On his knees. Were you so bored in the play you decided to ask me to marry you afterwards? Something like that. <laughs> now she's awake. Will you marry me? Any thoughts on the answer? <laughs> yes, no. Get out of my life, loser. They're all possible. I think I'll go for... Yes. Thank you for asking me. And thank you for not going for one of those melodramatic proposals. With lots of people around. I'm just going to turn off the radio. Oh no, everybody's out there. <laughs> no. He's got a bunch of people in. No. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Was it the band from the play? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I like her bag too. If they offer you tea, yeah. just say no. No, yeah. no. Hello. Tea? I'd love a cup of tea. Oh, Christ, that's the whole day gone. That's <laughs> the whole day gone. <laughs> What are your fault? <laughs> Liking to sleep? Uh, well, I'm very insecure. Okay, I um, I have a very bad temper sometimes. Oh, and of course I have um, I have a weakness for your son. So do I. But best not to tell him. Don't want him getting cocky. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Mary here? Yes. No, oh, you be gentle. <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> I've got an important announcement to make. We've decided, after a little bit of thought, to get married. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful news! Oh, oh no, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, by the way, the wedding will be quite soon uh, because we're having a baby, too. What? What? That's why she was sleeping. Mm. So here's the deal. I will take off one item of clothing for every decision you make. Okay. You have my attention, young lady. <laughs> Where would you like to get married? Home. Okay. Oh my god. Good. Who should the priest be? It'll have to be the local bloke with yellow teeth and the massive unibrow. Okay. Best man. No, this now. is so hard. It's lose-lose, you know. And then you end up hating the one you do pick because he makes a bad speech and ruins the day. Do you want to see these puppies or not? It's your choice. Oh, he's my best friend, but he's a moron. Yeah, he will mess up everything. No, Harry, Harry. Harry it is. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, Rory, what? sorry. That's such a cheat. Honeymoon. Bed and breakfast in Scotland. I am not taking my pants off for Scotland. Take off your pants. <laughs> I want two weeks in Bali. Take she wants to go to Bali. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to get decisions made, though. <laughs> Happened. It's that's it's his dad's song, my favorite song. <laughs> Priest is like, what the heck? Is there a hurricane? Yeah. Yeah, now it's gonna rain. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. 
if anybody Man. ever thinks they're having a bad wedding. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Is he going back in time to redo it on a different day? No. When, when Tim asked me to be his, his best man, and there is a very hilarious story, actually, from work. Um, it, was, it was quite a complicated case based on an issue of cross-amortization of um, ownership of post-divorce properties. Uh, let me just explain the context. Uh, the <laughs> defendant... <laughs> How much are you going to pay me, you little shit? I don't write for free, you know? These were the girls available to him. Oh Hello, girls. Gosh. And this is how far he got with each of them. Let me explain the code. Five, blowjob. <gasps> oh, God. Eight, full, penetrative. And so, oh uh, a toast. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim and Mary. I wish I'd said I love you. You did, Dad. It was implied. I'm not sure implied is good enough for a wedding day, yeah. I'm so, I'm so happy with it as it was. You really don't have to. Will you excuse me for just one moment? I've only loved three men in my life. My dad was a frosty bugger, so that only leaves dear Uncle Desmond, B.B. King, obviously, and this young man here. Try and marry someone kind, and this is a kind man with a good heart. But I am very proud to be the father of my son. <laughs> Do you wish we'd picked another less wet day? No. No. Not for the world. And so it begins. Lots and lots of types of days. Fun! <gasps> No one can ever prepare you for what happens when you have a child. When you see the baby in your arms and you know that it's your job now. No one can prepare you for the love people you love can feel for them. And nothing can prepare you for the indifference of friends who don't have babies. No, no, no thanks. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> Only one important thing for a godfather, I'm told. Never bring a present smaller than the child. Oh, shut up, you smug bastard. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I don't bring anything at all. Where, where's Kit Kat, by the way? I don't know. She said she'd be here around three. Ah, she is. Well, speak of the devil, that'll be her. Hey, Jimmy. Where's my sister? I thought she was here. No, she hasn't arrived. Well, we had a, an argument this morning over nothing, but uh, she, she'd been drinking. So I told her to meet me here. So. Uh-oh. The real troubles in your life will always be things that never crossed your worried mind. No! <gasps> oh. What happened? Oh, shit. When did she leave you? From where? I wanted exact. Exact time, exact address. We had an old my kid. Sorry, sorry. Happy birthday, Posey. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry, I had to pick up kid. <laughs> I thought she was going to drive herself. Turns out she couldn't. I'm worried about Kit Kat. Every family has, like, someone who falls. Maybe I'm our falling. Okay. I'm going to tell you a secret. You promise you won't ever, 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 ever tell. Why are we standing in the cupboard under the stairs? Because we're going to go back in time. And you're going to do some things differently. You can bring people with him? Oh, that's the door. No, my God. Oh, my God. I can go anywhere in time and you bring me back to the worst party of all time. I get it. If he hadn't met me, he'd have just had sex with someone else. Do, do I know you? Yeah. Um, and this is what I, I should have done right at the start. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, New Year. Back to the cupboard. Hi, Dickie. Yeah, but what did he screw up? When did you get so serious? Since it occurred to me that I might lose you, brace yourself. This could be weird. He's not gonna have his family now. Hi. Hi. You're right? Yeah. 
missed you. Mom wants me to do some gardening. Eva, where's his wife? Where is his wife? And his kid. Maybe he didn't go forward enough? I don't know. How did everything go? Immensely satisfactory. Okay, good. Come to your dad and get mashed up food shoved into your mouth. <gasps> Hello there, little boy. Uh. You just wait there and I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going to go to? I can't go back past the birth again, can I? No, I should have mentioned that. If you do anything the tiniest bit different, you'll, you'll have a different child. So every day up till yesterday is as it will always be. Just like for everyone else. I could have told him that before, like, me. <laughs> oh, crap, so he can't save her. Who had the accident? His wife or his sister? Sister, I guess. Yeah. We're not leaving this room until we find a way of making sure this never happens again. Where are you going now? I have to leave Jimmy, don't I? Mm. I have to stop drinking. Yeah. And I have to go out with someone nice and boring. Nice isn't necessarily boring. Like who? Matt Damon? I'll go out Matt Damon. Matt Damon isn't boring. Yeah, that was her point. Nice. Hmm? Nice, but not boring. That yeah, was her point. that's what I'm saying. He's not boring. Yeah. Let's have another one. No. That hurt, and I got fat. Tell Daddy you're happy being an only child. Fortunately, we are young and careless. And it wasn't long before there were four of us. Can you help me? I'm so nervous. What do I wear for dinner with our best-selling author? How about this? That's gorgeous. Yeah. It's boring and makes me look kind of lumpy. Yeah. What about this? Gorgeous. No, it's too breasty. I'm not wearing these heels. I look like a prostitute. Well, not high heels then. Yes. No. That's what Tony would have worn. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I like. No, I, I'm just picking up the dress that this goes under. <laughs> this one? Not no. bad. Or this one? Trick question, isn't it? No. Same no. dress. Okay. I don't think this one's too bad. Yeah, it's fabulous. No. No. How about the first the blue two? One? Blue one. Yeah. Yeah. The first one that you tried on that was boring and lumpy. Yeah, wh which do you prefer? I don't know, I'm actually starting to go mad. <laughs> okay, let's go with this one then. You look amazing. Where's, where's Posey? I, I left it downstairs. Not leaving the door open to the room with a manuscript in it. Look at me, look, look me in the eye. Mm -hmm. And talk me through this. Well, <gasps> okay, I'm just- Don't you dare answer through. that! Why would a baby know how to use a shredder? What? How can I help you? Oh, Mary. Uh, um, he, your son will explain. Hi, Mom. No, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll come straight down. Hello, darling. Hi, Mom. How are you? I am so uninterested in a life without your father. Where's the baby? Desmond, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Your father, I think, is not so well. Cancer. Dad. Oh, for God's sake. Not you too. Well, Kit Kat's just rolled up, blubbing her eyes out, and now you're here. What's Mum been saying? It may have been the smoking, but I couldn't undo that as it was before you were all born. I did get diagnosed as soon as possible, but it was too late. How long have we got? Weeks, I'm afraid. Have we had this conversation before? <laughs> yeah. What happened? I rather let myself down. I hugged you. I have something very important to tell you. Do you 
want to know the big secret, or would you rather find it out for yourself like I did? He's got to find out. And so he told me his secret formula for happiness. Part one of the two-part plan was that I should just get on with ordinary life, living it day by day like anyone else. He told me to live every day again, almost exactly the same. The first time with all the tensions and worries that stop us noticing how sweet the world can be. But the second time, noticing. OK, Dad. Let's give it a go. So not such a bad day after all. No, it's pretty good, really. If it had been a very bad day, I thought I might have had to have had sex with you to make up for it. Good night. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very, very bad day. I, I, I got fired from my job, and then I killed a man. That is a very bad day. It's terrible. It was the worst. <laughs> Some days, of course, though, you only want to go through once. Miss Father Day. I think so. Are we ready for this? Of course we're not. Where have you come from? It's the... Oh, okay. How's Uncle Desmond's suit? Oh, immaculate. Can I just read you this one bit? time for the insurance baby what oh but then he can't go back and see his dad again it was the toughest decision of my life saying yes to the future meant saying goodbye to my dad why don't we wait a bit absolutely how about now <laughs> or now and she's ready isn't she okay really Dad always wished there would be more of us. Anyway, we might we might try and nothing happens. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Will you excuse me for a sec? families do we got used to life after death and things settled back into their traditional rhythms and we've got used to Kit Kat being happy again and then we got used to her being a mum albeit not a very good or even safe one <laughs> I think I've learned the final lesson from my travels in time the truth is I now don't travel back at all not even for the day I just try to live every day 
as if I've deliberately come back to this one day, to enjoy it, as if it was the full final day of my extraordinary, ordinary life. Hello, you're down already, that's great. Thank you so much for that. Every day. We're all traveling through time together. Every day of our lives, all we can do is do our best to relish this remarkable ride. All right, so that was About Time. What did you think? That was a fantastic movie. Yeah, that was good. You enjoyed that? Yeah. A lot of crying at the Unfortunately, end. Unfortunately, but yeah. that was a great movie. Yeah. Great, great. Inspiring. Yeah, great message. You know, be present in in the day that, where you are, you know. Mm -hmm. Enjoy what you have, that moment. So. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was a good pick. I enjoyed that one. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. I, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I, 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 th I think it was actually funnier than I was expecting it was going to be. It had it a was. lot more funny moments. And when we got, uh, I guess, like the first two thirds of the movie, I was like, well, this doesn't seem like it's going to be a sad one. You know, maybe the trailer was just kind of sad. And then, you know, it takes a turn at the end. But yeah, no, I think it had a good message. It was, it was a. It was a good story, good movie. It was sincerely a great movie. I agree. I'm s I hadn't even heard of that movie though. Like when did it happen? When 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 did it come out? I think it came out. Was in it in movies? I think it came out in twenty thirteen. Oh. But so, you know, eleven years ago. So I don't know if it was in theaters. I'm I'm assuming it was. I mean but no, I, I didn't really know much about it. I had heard about it. Uh, I had heard the name. Um, it's been requested a couple of times. Um, but yeah, I didn't know anything about it. I just figured, okay, this isn't a rom-com. Uh, well, two points to whoever mentioned that movie. They get two points in my book. Okay. Good deal. That was a really, really good movie heartfelt interesting yeah. yes i cried but it was it was a good cry i yeah. guess yeah and it looked like um the third kid i don't know if you noticed it but it looked like the third kid was the son that he met you know when he picked up uh -huh. i think it, i think it was that one it, it looked the same curly black hair and all that yeah. so that's what i'm guessing but yeah i don't know I really enjoyed that. I'm very surprised. It was really, really good. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I thought, like I said, I, I just thought it had a really good message. Mm -hmm. You know, be present in the moment. You know, tr I, I can't remember exactly what he said at the end, but like, he's treating every day like he intentionally came back to that day. So, and I've, I've always, you know, people always say, "Live every day like it's your last day." Well, you can't really do that. I mean, if if I knew tomorrow was my last day, I, you know, I ain't going to work. I have, screw that. I'm going to spend money on it. I'm going to go do whatever I want, eat whatever I want. You know, I'd be yeah. having my steak dinner, yeah, and some I'd, cheesecake uh, yeah. ice cream. <laughs> yeah, there has to be some kind of uh, within reason, but but no, I get the message. But you should love the people you love mm -hmm. the most that you can every day. Yep. Yeah. And show them how much they you value them. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It was great. It was All absolutely right. great. All right. Anything else you want to say? Mm -mm. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about about time. About, about time. <laughs> and if you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we reacted to, we will throw the link to our Patreon down below. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. It helps us out. We really appreciate it, and we will see you next time.
Bye. Bye-bye.